There's a cane. No way. Cane right here. Oh my God, I see it. All right, I'm shaking. All right, folks, we're back at it again. Tin flipping, South Georgia. Let's do it. Anything? That's a great looking piece. That one looks good as hell. I know, it's long enough. You clear. All right, at the bottom of this tin stack, we found the first notable herp of the day, which is this big broadhead skink. You guys have seen these before recently, but I really like them. They're pretty neat. Oh, there you go. Now he's getting bitey. Ah. Oh, man, that is intense. Wow. Oh, my gosh. You can let go now, buddy. Please. Ow, ow, he just sees down even more. Ow. You can see his head is this wide because of those jaw muscles. And maybe we ought to just... Uh... <laughs> Our buddy finally let go, and he left me a little... A little present. Yeah, look at that welt. Ugh. That's annoying. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, next creature of the day is this green tree frog. I honestly don't see too many of these up where I'm from, so... Pretty cool. I found them under some bark. Whoa! Alright. I'm gonna put him back under his bark. Alright, so far today it's been pretty slow as it was when we were out with Noah. Oh, here's an orange tree, that's kind of cool. But uh, it's real warm out this time of year, so we're hoping that we can turn something up. Seems to be some junk on this property. It's nice and overgrown too, so we'll see what happens. All right, folks, so this turned the day around. We were getting hammered, and uh, I was driving by, and I saw a roadside uh, bark peely tree, a very dead stump with some loose bark on it. I said to Durst, I pulled over, and I was like, go peel that tree real quick. By peel, I mean pick, peak without totally destroying it. And uh, this guy just fell right out. And then Durst lost a second one. Oh, he's butting into me. I uh, wasn't in focus for that, but anyway, too bad we lost the second one, but um, this is awesome. I'm psyched about this for sure. So nice. This is a phenomenal little snake. We're going to uh, take some pictures of him and then let him go. So cool. All right, letting this Scarlet King go back into his little tree hole. And whoosh, there he goes, disappears. Incredible. All right, pretty epic there. Nice peel by Durst. 
I'm psyched because I've never seen anything but this one Scarlet King I found in Virginia one time. Uh, but pretty epic. My first like true Scarlet King that's not like a coastal Scarlet King if people believe that exists. Um, so awesome. We're going to keep herping and see if we can find anything cool. Break is pretty, pretty possible here. They like all these things. They like all the brush and the old stuff. Like they like like an aged cover site. I think. Right. Buddy, did you get this? I forgot. Yeah, Here, let me get this stuff first. Yeah. There's a cane. No way. Cane right here. You want to go grab our cameras? Hey, hey, we'll, we'll take it. Grab it. Go. Oh my god, I see it. Can I go grab our cameras? Yeah. Or do you want help? Go, just go grab all our cameras. It's pretty charged up. I'm shaking because it was hairy getting this guy out of that big tin stack over there. But uh, holy smokes, beautiful cane break. He's kind of pinkish. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Not the greatest looking one ever, but he's pretty phenomenal. And this is Durst's Lifer Timber Rattlesnake. He's a big croak guy from the West Coast. Um, so this is exciting for him, I'm sure. I got some yesterday with Noah, so he's probably happy that we've had this chance at redemption. So beautiful. I'm going to uh, pose this guy up a little bit and uh, take some pictures, and then we're going to go through the rest of the tin. Well, Durst was uh, hanging on to this timber, making sure he was staying put. I went through the rest of all that tin, and it is warm out today. Like, way warmer <laughs> than it was supposed to be, which is in our favor, I guess, because we're finding stuff today, finally, after quite a bit of effort. Um, but yeah, here's his stuff over here. We're gonna put him back in there in a second. All right, we're putting this guy back. There you go. All right, we're uh, we're kind of losing daylight, but a lot of this is just the weather's changing pretty hard on us. Um, but we're coming in hot to a flip site that last year looked really good, and actually there's a gopher tortoise burrow right there. So it honestly looks kind of diamondbacky. We'll see what's here. Huge piece of tin. Yeah, we're gonna get stormed on soon. We 
could totally flip a, uh, a diamond back. for the bigger thing. Damn, this looks good as get these little ones around. All right, so we lost light pretty fast there, and as you may have seen, uh, it was colder, windier, and uh, I think for that reason, things like king snakes that have tunnels all over the ground don't need to be up under the tin at this time of night. So uh, we're gonna head sort of back home, I guess, and if we get some rain tonight, we're gonna look for some amphibians. All right, guys, so here I am on the couch later at night, and the rain actually never hit, and I don't think it's gonna hit until like 3 a.m. So no amphibians in this video. If you like this video, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, there's going to be more like this soon. So uh, we'll see you then.